and warm welcome to all the delegates and participants in this auditorium today. Also welcome to all the speakers and panelists who have come from across India to share their ideas and their thoughts about ecotourism and green tourism. A special thank to our chief guest, Shri Baba Lindo, Honorable Minister of Tourism, Government of Meghalaya. It's a privilege and honor to have you here, sir. On behalf of Indian Express Group, I am delighted to welcome you to the Green Tourism Conclave 2023. I believe this is the first but not the last of this series. Today, we will see day-long deliberations on responsible and sustainable tourism, which will create awareness and share learnings. For the northeastern states of India to emulate, adopt, improvise on some of the best practices being followed in other places, and also to share their own learning, because they also have been practicing a lot of green tourism, eco-friendly tourism. So this is a place about exchange of ideas, which will help the tourism industry to become more sustainable. And this is the need of the hour. Today, the way we are all encountering climate change, the turbulence in weather, I think it's a need that we all work towards sustainable tourism and make it a way of life. The northern eastern states represent a very diverse natural beauty and cultural diversity. From snow-capped mountains of the Himalayas to the lush rainforests of Meghale, the region has something to offer everyone. It's also a great generation generator of employment. So there's a need to grow tourism. But if done in the right way, it not only generates employment and growth and creates economic activity, but it also is a sustainable form which will last for decades. Sustainable and green tourism has a lot of challenges. It requires both industry and consumers to change the way they behave. I can give you some examples. If you go to any five star hotel or any good hotel, you will find you know captions in the in the bathroom saying, "Please, if you do not want your uh, towels to be recycled, you know, don't. Uh, or if you want them to be recycled, throw them in the bin. Otherwise, you hang them." But when you look around in the bathroom or a place to hang the towel properly so that it will dry and be usable next day, you just find a hook and you tie it, leave it on the hook, it will not dry and it will stink the next morning, so you can't reuse it. So I think there are small things which require a lot of thought and a lot of these small things and small initiatives can make sustainable tourism viable. So I start you know, started noticing this that you know while everybody is doing a lip service, the real practice is happening only in a few places. And even when you don't leave your towel in the bin, most of the people that come to service the room, pick it up and take it away anyway to it. Because that's the practice that they've been following. So how do you make sustainable tourism and get it to practice with all the stakeholders? I think that's the challenge which everybody has to address. These conferences can throw ideas, it can create deliberations, but I think the industry and the trade and the consumers have to push. And I see a lot of young students here who will be the future of this industry and it's great to have all of you over here because you are the drivers of the change. It is important for you to ensure that this environment and this industry is sustainable. And if you invite these changes and carry it forward, I think there is no stopping in making this into a movement. Uh, before I end and ask the Honorable Minister to give his uh, speech, uh, I would also like to thank the Department of Tourism, State of Meghalaya, Odisha and Arunachal Pradesh for supporting this initiative. I think it's a very good beginning, a very good initiative, need of the hour. I would also like to thank Mr. Cyril uh, Dengdo, Director of Tourism, Government of Meghalaya for a lot of ideas and thoughts which helped make this event possible. Uh, Mr. Sachin Ram Chandra Jadav, Director of Tourism, Odisha Tourism. And, uh, the Tourism Department of Arunachal Pradesh uh, for supporting and believing in this event and this thought. Uh, while this event is on, it is being live cast on Indian Express, Financial Express, and Jan Satka. Uh, we reach out to almost 200 million users every month. Uh, you can see on the, on, 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 the, on the panel on the left and right, 
the hashtag GTICTLOG. So let's make it trend. You can post whatever you like from this event. Let the learning spread. Let the message spread. Let's make this event trend today. Uh, our editors and marketing team will be supporting you. So, so whatever you say will be retweeted and reshared from, from our channels. And once again, thanks to all of you. I hope we have a very productive and enjoyable conference. Thank you. Thank you.